Hello everyone, it is June the 18th, 2016. Uh, sorry I've been away for a while, I've had a lot going on, but I came across this article, thought I would post a video on it. It is taken from prophecynewswatch.com, titled, The Largest Behavioral Conditioning Experiment in History Has Begun. The largest behavioral conditioning experiment in the history of mankind has just begun in China, and for those who value their freedoms in the West, one can only pray it never makes it here. A citizen score system has been developed which will rate each citizen on the basis of their political views, their expression on social media, the kinds of purchases they make, and their credit scores. These scores, ranging between 350 to 950, will be taken into account when handing out loans, approving travel visas, and other grants from the government. Such scores could also be used to determine who will have access to certain types of jobs. Essentially, your life opportunities will be determined by this score. Where this system gets even more manipulating is that the scores of one's family and friends can also affect your score thereby ensuring a social pressure to behave in the approved manner, lest it affect those you know and care about. There will be no hiding your score from family or friends and its impact on them as everybody will have the ability to check anyone else's score online. Once this system is in place, the government will have a very effective method of reinforcing the kind of behavior it believes to be politically and socially correct. The scores will be linked to China's national ID card, and while currently voluntary, the government has announced that it will be mandatory by 2020. Opponents of a national ID system in the United States will no longer or will doubt, no doubt point to the Chinese system as a warning for the U.S. of what can happen when big government and big data get together. Since most of the big social networks and payment giveaways in China are controlled by Alibaba and Tencent, the two companies that have been roped in to run the citizens, this citizen score system for the government. Yahoo, an American company, is a major stockholder in Alibaba, Alibaba and is already a participant in this oppression of the most populous nation on the earth. This blatant abuse of power should serve as a warning to Americans who are themselves handing away their liberties without realizing the consequences. Every year, Americans give away more and more personal information about themselves that makes assembling a profile on them very simple. All of the information required to enable such a system here is already easily available to the government through the cooperation of the major corporations in the country. Think about it. You're being tracked everywhere you go, through software on your phones, your laptops, and computers, Send back usage reports. Advertisers have enough information about you to target their products with increasing precision, and all of your personal data on social networks is being mined for whatever use deemed necessary. Credit card companies already use numerous factors in determining your risk as a cardholder. With so much data made available, it will be tempting for these companies to incorporate other non-financial indicators to determine one's credit worthiness. With more and more people dependent upon government and financial aid in the United States, it is not hard to see how our government that wants more control over its citizenry might one day want to take advantage of combining political manipulation with financial benefits or lack thereof. Christian prophecy experts make note of the fact that Revelation 13 speaks specifically or specifically speaks of a time in the future in which the mark of the beast is directly connected to political support for the beast or antichrist one will not able one will not able to buy or sell without this mark and it is clearly a mark of loyalty and allegiance the merging of political allegiance and the ability to conduct commerce is clearly only beginning well i don't know about the mark of the beast i don't know i have different thoughts on what all of that means. Um, I think it could all be intertwined. Um, but this is definitely scary. And, you know, folks, the more that we can just try to be more self-sufficient and not have credit cards and not have debt and to be able to grow even a simple garden and just just pots, 
um, and to just live within your means, shop at thrift stores, don't buy things that you don't need with money that you don't have, and look to people around you to form friendships and bonds with people that you trust. We're living in a very, very scary world. I hope you're all doing well, um, and it's good to be back, and everyone have a great day. Bye now.